Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at how to set up a Google Meet when you are using your Google Calendar. So if you're in your Google Calendar here or within your email and you want to set up that appointment with somebody and have Google Meet be the place that you meet, uh, you just click on the spot or you come up to create over here. Uh, maybe we'll just call it catch up, something really elaborate there. Uh, you'll add the email, so I'm just going to add a email here. And then what you're going to do is uh, right down here, Google Meet actually already automatically populates. So it shows up automatically. You can also adjust the settings if you, or you can get the, the information. So you could actually adjust the meeting room. So you could change it up if you wanted to. Or enter an existing meeting code, as it says. So if there's a particular meeting room you just like to always use. You can also click on settings there and you can go right into some of the basic expectations. Uh, so in this case, you can decide right from the get-go in this meeting, you don't want everybody to be able to share their screen right off the bat. Uh, you don't want people to be able to send messages or reactions. You could leave this set up as it is. Um, notice that with this particular version, the Educational Plus licenses, it will default to trusted. And that means anybody that is part of your account. So in this case, these are folks at College Unbound. Uh, so if you have a College Unbound email, you can know that any these options are to anybody that's part of the College Unbound environment. So you can feel reasonably comfortable and safe with, with that as a choice. Um, but what's also cool is up here, you can add additional guests. So if you want that person to actually be a co-host and not just a, a contributor, you can do that. Um, you can have everybody as set as a viewer to a default. Uh, you can have the artifacts, uh, um, you can have artifacts that are shared at in advance. And then you can also pre-plan breakout rooms. So if you have that large, if you have that roster of your students and you want automatically them to just be kind of put into breakout groups, you can actually pre-calculate that before you ever before you even set any, anything up. So it's pretty cool, right? You get some options right off the bat right here within your calendar. Awesome. We're going to hit save. That looks all fun, great, fantastic, right? We got there by clicking on the little settings wheel, expanded that, and really this is ready to go. I'm just going to hit save, and it's going to send that invitation, and voila that appointment has been created. So we hope that is really helpful, makes sense, and if you have questions, let us know.